Here is a micro bit operation game. So we have our micro bit microcontroller that we can program graphically by dragging and dropping different commands onto the screen. It is connected to a small piezoelectric buzzer to make a sound every time we make contact or if we want to play sounds. It has an LED matrix display where we can make like a sad face when we, when we, uh, when we don't grab the, uh, the organ correctly. And then we have our tweezers attached to one of the pins. So I'll just reset it here. So we get our opening message, operation, and a little tone. So now I'll take my tweezers and I'll try and pick this organ out of the frame. So I touched the edge of the frame, I got a sad face, and I've lost one point. I'll try again. No, nope, I blew it again. That one I was able to pull it out successfully. And now I'll try one more time. I blew it, zero chances left. And now I get the you lose message. And it's playing the funeral march. Game's over. And now if I try again, it starts over again. It reset the score back to zero or back to three and I can start playing again. So I've lost one again. So all I've got is I've got the piezo buzzer connected to one pin for the signal to, to play the tone, and then it's grounded to the ground pin. And then I've got the tweezer uh, wire connected to pin two, and then I've got a ground pin, a ground wire that goes from the ground of the microcontroller to the tin foil frame of the box or the game. And that makes the, and so that when the uh, when, the, when the tweezers make contact, that completes the circuit across the tin foil to the ground, and the micro bit recognizes that as a touch and registers the loss of game, or loss of a uh, point. So now we'll look at the code a bit. So this language we use is called make code, and it's a graphic drag and drop uh, programming language for the micro bits. On this side here, we have the on start routine, and what that does is that uh, does the code that executes when the pro when the computer is when the microcomputer is powered on, or if you press the rest reset button. So the first thing we do is we show a little message to say operate, then we set our score to the number of points you're going to have before you lose, and then I play a couple of tones, and then we have this on pin P2 pressed. So the tweezers are connected to pin P2. If we touch, it plays a little note to say you made a touch. It shows a sad face, which you can just, you can draw anything you like in that matrix there. You can make happy faces, sad faces, check boxes, X's, whatever you like. Plays a few tones. It subtracts one from our score. It shows the score. It shows the word left, so it would say two left. And then it clears the screen. And then we just move down a bit here. And then we just have a check here that says, if the score is less than one, which means they've got to zero, we give a message that says you lose. And then we play a little melody. In this case, it's a funeral march. And it's all, these are, there are several pre-programmed uh, melodies in the program, or the students can make their own melodies up if they want to create their own, if they're musical and they want to create their own, uh, uh, melodies for different parts of the game, they can do that. Okay, so that's a, uh, that's a shot at making an operation game using a BBC micro bit, some tin foil, and a pair of tweezers. Thanks.